Next, we have Sarah Khan with Girl Developed at RDU. Sarah is one of three co-leaders of the Raleigh-Durham chapter of Girl Development. She's also the UX manager at Saffron Te Technology. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you. Just the clicker thing. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Um, as Bonner said, I am one of the co-leaders of Girl Development RDU chapter. Uh, we are a national nonprofit. We actually have about 50 chapters uh, nationwide now, and the um, Raleigh Durham chapter has been around for about two years. We have about 1,500 members in our chapter. Um, I think there's about Gosh, there's a, there's a page on Meetup where you can watch how many there are nationwide. I think it's 60,000 or more now. Um, anyway, so I'm here to talk to you today about how to have a more inclusive event. People come to us a lot of the time and say, we're having a technical event. Maybe it's a JavaScript talk or a conference, and we want to have a more diverse group of people participating, particularly women. Where are you keeping the women? How do we get them to come out? Well, the first thing is women are people, and they have diverse motivations motivations and uh, operating parameters, but um, I do have some tips that I can share that we've learned. So um, a lot of these might seem like common sense, um, but in my career doing user experience, um, one thing I've learned is that looking at things from the point of view of people who might be different from you isn't really common sense, or it might not be um, at the forefront of your mind. So um, just making sure that your space is accessible and that you uh, advertise the fact that you are aware of accessibility issues and that you want to support people. Because you might have people who are um, self-selecting and opting out if you don't promote that fact. And then you never have the opportunity to even know that it was a problem. Uh, another big issue is having a code of conduct. Uh, big props to City Camp for having a prominently posted code of conduct. We love to see that. Um, it's just, it just goes to making people comfortable and knowing that if there's going to be a problem, hopefully there won't be a problem, but if there's one, that it, there's policies in place and it can be addressed. Um, another thing is to reach out to um, groups that aren't your normal channel. As technologists, our first impulse might be to advertise on social media. But there's a lot of people who aren't on social media, and you're missing out on um, reaching out to them. So one of the things that uh, we've done at Girl Develop It is we've um, kind of looked out for spaces that people who aren't into the normal tech scene are hanging out and getting information. So different listservs and, um, I don't know, leaving paper flyers, different places. So just kind of thinking outside the box in that way. Um, and kind of piggybacking onto that, this is more of a long-term strategy, but building a network of people that are um, not in the normal tech scene, which we have a lot of great examples of that here at City Camp, uh, United Way, other nonprofits that you might not think of. Um, when you're involved in the local tech scene, you might be really focused on a lot of the technology meetup groups, but um, for example, we've had a lot of um, students coming into our group from the community colleges or from area public libraries. So just kind of, again, thinking outside the box and finding out who's running programs that can help um, get the word out about you. And last but not least, inviting people by name. I know there was a study about this, and not citing it right now because I couldn't find it, but I know there really is a study. <laughs> um, but there's, so Girl Develop, it's an organization that was built by and for women, and they're exactly who we are targeting, and yet I still get so many women who ask, can I come to this class? Is this for me? Yes, it's for you. We built it for you. So um, having that personal touch, that personal invitation, that yes, I know your name and I noticed you came last time and I'd love to see you again, can help kind of give people the confidence to um, come out and participate. So if you would like any more information about Girl Develop It, we're um, always looking for sponsors, volunteers, um, spaces to have class, uh, partnerships. So you can find us on the Twitters or you can just go to our website or email us. Thank you.
Thanks, Sarah. And uh, I, I think it, that's a critical component that we think through how we're making sure that we invite as much diversity as possible. And obviously, for us to, to have the, the most diverse ideas, we need to have the most diverse backgrounds. And uh, in order to, to get to those creative and brilliant ideas for our community, we need to source the entire community. So thanks for some of those tips. And hopefully, those will get employed throughout city camp. 